VW Lifers. Uh, thanks for joining us today on uh, this episode of VW Life. What we're going to do is uh, basically a how to uh, fix bad swing axle boots on your Volkswagen. This works on buses, Beetles, and Gias, even Type 3s. So, those of you out there with uh, fastbacks and notchbacks. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, here's what I did. I just went online all ago and looked, and there, there were some, there's some pretty good videos out there, but they're just kind of like not, they're not complete. I don't think they, uh, actually kind of tell you guys what all's going on. So we wanted to help you out here and help new people because there is a lot of people joining the Volkswagen community. And what we want to do is show you guys, uh, the, the, the basics on putting on, uh, your swing axle boots. Um, now, if you're modern cars you're familiar with, they're very similar, have CV joints. Uh, those are, uh, uh, you know, that allow the rear axle to articulate in and out as it drives you down the road. And CV boots are, are probably the number one thing that go bad on modern cars. Uh, one of the things is that they'll have to replace the boots on that. You might have done that yourself or had a shop do that for you. But when you're working on your old Volkswagen, there's not a lot of people know how to do these. And you want to work on your Volkswagen yourself. So it's an opportunity for you to do this yourself with your boots. So first things first, uh, uh, let's start off with just the basics. Uh, where to get these things? I like these uh, Phoebe or Fabi, I don't know how you say that. I'd say Phoebe, but I'm from Texas. Bilstein boots, uh, these are made in Germany. They come with a complete kit. Do these work on anything or just Beetles? These will work on Beetles, uh, buses, uh, gears, everything, okay? Everything with a swing axle up to uh, 67 there uh, on the bus side. All right, so, um, so what you're going to get in that kit, you're going to get your boot, okay? And then you're going to get uh, these, uh, the original style uh, clamps. Now, to use these, you have to have a special tool. This is a KD Tool 424. And what it does is it actually uh, it grips this, uh, and, and it's, it's a pinch-type clamp, and it'll pinch it in and uh, and snug this up. We'll install these. I'll show you how to use these earlier. You do not have to ha use these, okay? You don't. Um, you're more than welcome. Yeah. A lot of times folks end up using the uh, the worm drive clamps. Those work just as well. Um, I just like using the original ones. You want to use a thinner band. This is a good one right here. This is actually a, made for that. It's a thin band as compared to some of these wide band clamps like that. But you know, either one of those are going to work. Uh, there's your inside and your outside right there. It looks like a number, that's an old, that's a Volkswagen clamp there, 5157. All right. So that's, uh, that's how you're going to clamp the boot on, but there's a lot of preparation. So this is what comes in the kit from Phoebe. You get the boot and don't worry. It's like, oh my gosh, it doesn't have holes here. It's just part of the mold. Okay. You can see that you just put your, your things through there. I like to dry chest this. You can see how the grooves fit in there, and it will actually just kind of snap in a little bit. There you go. You can see how it snaps in. And then I'll dry uh, run my bolts that hold it on. You want to go uh, a little tiny washer and these little, man, these might be four millimeter bolts. And you can't, you see, you can't see the hole, right? It's like, wait, 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 wait. And can't you see the line, can you? Can't rust? see the line, can you? Rust? You just poke it through like that. And so you kind of get an idea. And so if you dry, dry do this on your bench, it's just easier that to, than when you're over there underneath the car because there's not a lot of area. Uh, we're going to be putting these in on old spot today, and uh, the motor's out on old spot, so that's going to make it a lot easier because when usually you're going to be doing this, your car, the motor's in, so it makes it a little more difficult. So you're going to end up doing your boots like usually they're split and they're puking tranny fluid all over the place. You know, these are rubber. They do deteriorate over time. So uh, you, you obviously, uh, you know, you're going to, when you pull off the old one, we'll show you on spot. They're already been pulled off. I've cleaned it all up. You want the area spotlessly clean, as good as you can get. Now, if you have transmission fluid in your uh, Volkswagen, it's, some is going to ooze out through that tube. Just let it drip out a little bit and then continue to wipe it. Remember, at the very end, you're going to have to top off your transaxle. All right, so there's a not, I wouldn't say controversy. There's just different opinions but there is there, there are definitely some ways that you want to make sure that you have uh your uh, uh boot on your axle so uh i'm just using this the uh, sh uh, shifter here <laughs> uh, 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 my hand is the transmission so obviously it's two pieces you will put it on and this is going to go into the transmission now you don't want these m mounted up at the top 
because the axle is going to be doing this and that just puts a terrible bind on this right here and you'll get some leakage obvious reasons you don't want it on the bottom because it's going to be more of a drip there so a lot of people say it's either a two uh, two o'clock or ten o'clock okay ten. now i've heard a, a ten and two all right now some people say put it i like the idea of, i always put them forward uh, just a little slightly uh, above three o'clock, so I'd be at, I guess two o'clock or what have you, because as you're driving down the road, you know most of your uh, your here you're not exactly straight, just a little bit like that, and that way you know as you're driving down the road, you're slinging most of your fluids gonna be slung back this way. I don't know, it's a theory, but either one is easy. A lot of times it's which one you can get to, but you do not want it straight up and down, and you don't want your bolt holes on the bottom. Okay. That's a very, very, very important thing because it'll just, you'll get leaks immediately. Uh, but you can see a uh, swing axle, they droop when they're up in the air. So um, I find it much easier. This car, when it's on the ground, it's going to have the weight. It's, gonna, it's not going to be drooping like this, okay? All right, when it's up, it's going to be sitting on the, on the tires. And the, so everything will be, the swing axles will be more straight like this, not drooping like this. Now, if it's like this, I don't know what's going on, right? But you want it, you know, so so in order to simulate that, this position here, what we're going to do is, is I'm going to come in with the with the floor jack. And we're going to go over to the other side over there because this is a little more, little more space for y'all to see. But I'm just going to come up off of the shot tower here. We're just going to, we're going to ooze that up a little bit. You see how the axle's going up? Okay, so we're just... Whoa. We're just <laughs> we're just simulating. This seems safe. See how it's pretty straight there now. <laughs> Jake says it isn't. Uh, nice and clean. So when we get the boot on there, everything looks really good. Okay. So then we're gonna take our boot apart back from uh, our little bolts that we put in earlier. You might be able to just pull it apart a little bit. Maybe. It's pretty stuck. Chew yourself out. Alright, so you can kinda of, kinda of get an idea. And then that's we'll drop fit that on there. I'm probably gonna put these to the back back here because it might be just easier to get to and to show y'all. So I like I said, I'm six of one half of those another. Okay. One of the things I don't usually like using silicone, but I, I use it on these gaskets here. Which just to, to, to you know, on the, my transaxle plate. And then I'll put uh, silicone here and here and down this, I'll run a little bead. Uh, it's just because it's not getting anything internal, it's usually easier to scrape off. That's the first thing. So I, I'm not a big, I just don't like using silicone because it just gets on everything. But in this case, it is what it is, they say. So we're just going to take a little of this and uh, give us a little bead as best we can around. go just a thin layer it doesn't have to be anything and this stuff gets on everything so keep that in mind keep your good rag handy then everything will end up orange I guess I like it better than the clear this is just a high temp upper ultra copper nothing too fancy boot here again don't go crazy just a little filling some of the gaps okay there you go I don't know about the outer yet and it just makes a heck of a mess but I'm gonna put a little line on it for now usually you don't you get a good seal on the outer one usually so it's usually not an issue but I'm going to smear some of that right in here too. Just a nice thin layer. Okay. 
There we go. All right. I'm going to slip this little guy on. Try not to get silicone all over the whole countryside. Huh? And then uh, you can see if you pre-do your uh, bolts, it makes it a lot easier to try to get those to go, to go on there. A little messy. Okay. All right, remember, we don't want it up straight up and down, and we don't want it on the bottom. We, I'm gonna put it right there, it's just, it, that works pretty good for me right there. So I guess you could say that's either 10 o'clock or two o'clock, I don't know which one. So uh, this is where I'm going to put on this uh, pinch clamp. Again, uh, you can use a worm drive too. So if you don't have that tool, that's okay. It'll work just as well. Okay, kind of get an idea. Uh, everything looks really good here. Um, these are, are basically finger tight. I'll snug them up a little bit more in a bit. Uh, the, the whole thing with this is getting this in a good spot so I can get my uh, wrench on it to clamp it down. Not a lot of room, and you can imagine trying to do this with a motor in. It's just uh, you do everything from the bottom. So this is way easier when you don't have a motor in it. All right, you want to make sure this guy's pretty snugged up on there. Look at your angle here with where those are. Okay. And uh, I think I'm going to do the outside guy to help me pinch down the the out the the inside so I'm gonna put this guy on first you can probably see it better too oh yeah there we go that's sexy good job oh yeah oh did you get that with the oozing out do a little final finger tighten on these uh little four millimeter bolts here I don't know what is that size here uh, seven millimeter socket fits on there good and you don't want to over tighten them because it'll deform your setup there so you just I just finger tighten them you're spinning on the bottom is that normal yeah it'll spin a little bit some of them some of them are usually snug up pretty good if it spins I'll put a screwdriver on the bottom there But if you just finger tighten them, and you can see how you got them about all the same tightness because you can see the uh, bolt coming through there. All right, looks pretty good. Doesn't get a lot of silicone all over the countryside. So I'm happy with that. Well, looks really good. All right, Jake, uh, thanks for helping me today with the Filming. You know, I'm here for something. Well, I don't know yeah. what it is, but I'm here for something. These hands did the work. This hand did the filming. But um, and hey, y'all enjoyed the experience. Well, I'm hoping that this helps folks out there. That oh, there's a lot of new people that are jumping into the Volkswagen community, and I mean, this is an easy repair. You don't have to pull your motor to do it. You can do it from underneath. It's easier to film, obviously, and to do when there's no motor in your in your Volkswagen. But you can do it from underneath. The key is get it clean. And, and you're going, oh, fluid's going to come out. Okay, that's going to be a normal. Don't worry about that. You get it back on all of its tires, then you you're, you need to check your trans axle fluid anyhow. So that's the time to check that. But don't worry about that fluid coming out. That's not that big of a deal. Okay, just have your nice pan to catch what's going. It's not going to be like the whole thing's not going to drain out. Okay. And if you ruin your shirt in the process, guess what? 
allmetricgarage.com. You can go get some VW Life, Texas Junk Kings, Matoga Racing, or Chum Bucket Racing. You can go get all the merch you need if you ruin your shirt with trans fluid while doing this job. That's right. All Metric Garage has lots of cool stuff, stickers and hats and mugs. Oh, I just see a number one teacher Gary mug. I'm a little offended considering I'm also a you're, teacher. You're number two teacher. <laughs> hey, I'm the deuce you never want to drop. We need to get this as teacher number two. That's awesome. I like that idea. I'm oh, gonna one. Comment that if you want us to start dropping that merch. But uh, this is a, this is a good thing for you guys. Uh, uh, thank you all for joining us, uh, uh, folks that have been with us. Thanks for continuing to watch us, new guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and please tell your aunts, tell your uncles, to everybody you know about VW Life. This is what it do. Get out there, work on your Volkswagens. Do it yourself, man. It's not that hard. That's why we love these things. Thank y'all. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Comfortably not? No. Fucking pink floor. Not at all. I can't move. <laughs> it's the antics. <laughs> you stuck, old man? <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> I'm literally stuck. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> ah, I miss buses. Oh. oh, God. Did you get that on tape? Yes. There's your, there's your antics, everybody. <laughs> If they're still watching, you know what they should need to know? What? It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. <laughs> no. Oh, VW Life. Well, that's a good one.